Then its head started striking between his legs. <laughs> like no. literally. Snake versus snake. So yeah. one snake, one snake taking on the other snake. <laughs> the B side word. Um but anyway, first article for this week. Yes. You put it in, Dev. I did. And it is about old Jimmy. 27 year old from Gladstone or Gary's Gladstone, mate. Queensland. Must be Gary's mate. Must be Gary's mate. Um, so, this Ute driver. Who the hell is Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Gary's cheating oh, mate, on you, Jimmy. CJ. And, um, Bastard. <laughs> he was driving a Ute, which is the Aussie terminology for utility vehicle. Is that what it is? Yeah. But it's like a pickup truck, let's say that for the others. What do we call it in England? I don't know. Anyway, he's driving. Down the I to, highway. I used to pick up a lot in a pickup pick up truck. <laughs> I picked up p- picked up a fridge, <laughs> washing machine, a bed, cupboard. Yeah. So he was he had some stuff in his in his pickup Hernia. in his Ute. Yeah. And he was driving along the highway, and this is Central Queensland where he was driving, and he saw a brown snake. When you see a brown snake, it's over. So we saw a brown it's snake. It's not over, but it's Whew, it's, it's, over. it's it's danger sign. Danger, danger, danger. Warning, warning. What was that song? Watch yourself. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, what was that song? <laughs> danger. Mystical. Danger. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. So he's driving yeah. at 100 kilometers an hour because that's the speed limit on the freeway. And he just starts. He starts to break right because he's seen this snake, and then he's like trying to move his legs he's trying to move his legs but as he's moving his legs the, the snake starts wrapping around him right imagine you're driving highway oh, and a sh- brown snake starts wrapping around yeah, your legs nah. then its head started striking between his legs <laughs> like no. literally snake versus snake so yeah. one snake one snake taking on the other snake <laughs> so then like he's tr- he's trying to use his seatbelt and a work knife to fight off the snake and it's still on belt? the highway. Yeah. And um, a work knife. Probably like this. What like... happens if he misses? That, that's like a bad circumcision. <laughs> Wait. Oh! <laughs> and then he thought he'd been bitten, right? So he thought he was about to die because, anyway, those snakes. So he kills the snake, which is sad. I'm, you're not supposed to kill it. But in this situation when it's like you could probably die or whatever. So he killed the snake and put it, get, gets out and puts it in the, the rear, the tray. Wait, can a brown snake, is that one of the top deadliest. 10? Yeah. Or top three deadliest snakes in the world? One of, something like that. It's yeah, deadly. It's a, it's a deadly snake, okay. So he gets out, puts it in the tray and immediately gets back in and races as fast as he could to the nearest hospital. So and a police officer spots him doing about 120 free, pulls him over. And then, this, and then Jimmy's just like panic stricken and he's just like, because he was like, you've got to believe me. Look, oh my God, feel my heart. Like his heart was like pounding out of his chest. Um, I don't know if he got charged or what, or whether the officer believed him, but um, University of Queensland snake expert, Brian Fry, he was like, Jimmy had good reason to freak out. Good reason. <laughs> Those brown snakes have I love fast this story. acting venom yeah. and can kill you within 15 minutes. Right. 15 minutes. Just for curiosity, did he ask the police officer to suck the venom out? <laughs> no. Is and, it? If, if he di- and if he did, would he be charged for sexual harassment? Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. But wait, <laughs> that was a myth, wasn't it? Sucking the venom out? No, that's not a myth. I thought you just had to tourniquet the area and keep very still. Do not move. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. Like, um, one, uh, I was watching a documentary about um, the Aboriginals and how they live in the um, in the outback and stuff. And they said that well, if they got bitten by a snake, they would leave that person underneath a shady tree so they wouldn't move. Because, like, if the more you move, it pumps the blood around and it, it can... Yes. So, if you stay really you still... immobilize I don't even area. know if they bury them. I don't know if they bury them in sand so they keep completely still. Really? I'm not sure. I don't know if I made that up, but it's like... I know they leave them under no, the, the shade. It, it, it sounds like they're burying them because they're going to die is what you're saying. No, no. Like, they bury them so they, they restrict the movement. Wow. So that, I, I, th- I think that's a thing. Like, they, they yeah. make a hole and then they you go in there and then they stop. Because, like, when's this pressure on you, you don't really 
you can't really like, move imagine in the being, sand. Doing the sand. Uh, yeah, the sand like in the sand. I, like that part, I don't know if I made up. I don't know if I just. <laughs> I visualize that. I don't know about that part. But Either yeah. way, you should not move around. Yes. You've got to, or you've got to immobilize the area. Like, so make a splint or whatever you have to do. Yeah. Do not move and just try and stay still and calm. Um, but he's like, sometimes the patient feels fine and then just dramatically collapses and dies because the venom is that fast with those snakes. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's, that's pretty crazy. Driving a car and then a snake trying to bite you whilst you're on the freeway. Yeah. That's pretty. And then it brought me, because I saw this, um, that was your article, but I saw this other, I told you about it. I don't know if it was a tweet or on Facebook, and I don't know if you guys saw it, and it was this woman, and she's a snake handler, and she has someone filming, because I guess they were about to make a video about snake handling. So she opens the cage, and the snake comes out. Did you see this, Alexander? The snake comes out. No, no, no. Right? Keep keep going, keep going. And then... She goes, oh, I can't remember what she's saying. But it's like, oh, hey, pretty thing. How are you? Typing. <laughs> right? And she puts her hand towards the snake. Hello, baby girl. And the snake literally, you know, flash speed. Bam. It bites her wrist. You know, wait, wait. You know how you're doing that? It's yeah. because she shaped her hand like a snake head. That's why. She's like, <laughs> hello. <Lynn." laughs> well, she wasn't going like that. Hey, pretty girl. She was just like reaching in and he went, boom, right? Yeah. Or she. Anyway, so she grabs the snake. Bit bit her wrist, yeah, and immediately, immediately started coiling around this woman's arm. Can I tell you, this woman stayed so calm. Mm. So the guy was videoing. Is like, do you, do you want me to stop videoing? Like, what should I do? And she's like, nope, that's fine. And she was just like giving directions to this other guy trying to get the snake off. It took so long. Like, I think the video is probably about five minutes long. In the end, they managed to rip, like, basically rip the, the, the snake's teeth out from her wrist yeah. using one of those hook things and the blood, the blood just, like, poured onto the floor. Yeah. But apparently, which is what I was telling you, in yeah. the comments, everyone was like, you are stupid. This snake was shedding and you shouldn't, you never, ever, ever touch a shedding snake. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Because when they're shedding, they're basically almost blind and so they're really aggressive and, like, defensive. Yeah. I was like, oh, there you go. You learn a new thing every day. So if you see a shedding snake, leave it the hell alone. In general, leave you know leave, yeah. leave a snake alone in general. We've had this, this I was discussion. Gonna say, is it like standing there with like a brush going, ooh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm part of this like, I'm part of these like. It's, it's, it's going to slew her out. <laughs> Facebook groups, like yeah. mums, whatever, like in my area. And there's quite a lot of snakes that appear like people are like oh i've got a snake in my garden got a snake like in the hills yeah, district yeah. right and m- literally most of the mums and they're like oh it's just uh it's just uh whatever that's fine like it's just a baby just leave it just a but baby did you python? know babies have as much venoms as the adults did you know that um do they do, yes they do, do. They have do they have the fangs they? to get yeah they though? yeah and they have as much as the adults but i think some of the some snakes can they can give you like a warning bite so they won't eject inject all of the venom but the babies i think they're just like they just give it they're all just, they just they're not they're not accustomed <laughs> they to haven't it. got the control <laughs> but you're um, silly cj wait you're what silly. i didn't say it you did i thought it and i said this could be too far <laughs> cj <laughs> I knew I mean, I, what you were thinking. I held I held it in. <laughs> and then you said it. <laughs> I, is it the other word I said for inject? Yeah. Anyway, um uh, <laughs> It ejaculates the um, venom into Yeah, too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's silly. Look at the figure of a fat snake. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Alexander? <laughs> Pardon? Were you gonna add something? Because your head popped well, up like, yeah, I wanna say something. Well, uh, I guess things we happen to be going down snake stories. I, I was Googling um, snake bite berry under tree because I was trying oh. to verify <laughs> this whole thing that Dev was talking about. Yeah. Um, and instead, somehow, the second thing that came up was man dies from snake bite, then wakes up at own funeral seconds before cremation. Oh, <gasps> what? <laughs> Did so, he say it's getting but- hard in here? <laughs> <laughs> so, th- this tell is- us more about this story. This is wild. I'm just, I'm re- so this is in India. This is in 2016, by the way. Um, so this is in India. This 23 year old man. Um, he was, I think, he was out in like the in the forest or something, getting wood. 
Yeah, he was collecting wood from the forest and he got bit by a snake. And when he came back, he had told the people that he got bit by a snake. Um, and this article is very, very shallow on detail. So if I miss <laughs> things, that's why. Um, but it says, so instead of taking him to a hospital, they took him to their local healer. Um, oh. And they went through the, or the uh, he went through his like practitioner and stuff. And the healer said, he's dead. Um, and <laughs> the, <laughs> the people, instead of... they. So they're a bit confused because apparently if you die by, um, I think it's by snake or something like that. It, yeah, if you die by snake, you should be buried rather than burned. But they traditionally cremate. So they didn't know what to do with this person. So they took him to... Go on. One minute warning. Thank you. <laughs> they uh, they took him to the uh, they took him to the cemetery where they set up the I don't know how you pronounce this the pyre you know where they they lay them on and, and then they oh, burn yeah. it with yeah. the body on it. So they yeah. set all that up and they're at the funeral and it's burning, it's on fire, and as it's about to reach the body, this guy <gasps> starts screaming and they realise that he's alive. Now, now this was story, he really alive or was he just a snake zombie? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this I, I said, this this is very, very shallow on detail. So the ending to this story in this article doesn't really explain much, but what happens is, is obviously they realise he's alive and they end up taking him to the the practitioner again the same one where again he he dies he ends up dying oh. <laughs> so they ended up taking him to a hospital where it says they did a uh the what do you call it the Aut- oh yeah the autopsy. proper test, or proper um, test. and then that's where the article ends so i don't know <laughs> did he did he did he die fully no or? he did he he did die because they performed an autopsy it'd be really oh, hard sorry. to do on a live yeah. person uh, <laughs> <laughs> But, but yeah, like, I don't know if he's now, did he die from maybe the, the like, inhaling Burning. the fumes or the burns or, like, I don't know why he ended up dying, but that's why. That was just a really wild story I came across. Oh, wow. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't take, if a practitioner got someone's death in my family incorrect, I probably wouldn't take him back there. Yeah. <laughs> that's bizarre. And that you know, a- that reminds me, I just saw one this year. And they were about to, I don't know if it was this year or last year, they were about to bury their loved one. And then you see it on video from inside the coffin because there's a glass, there's a, they've got like a glass panel so you can see in the coffin from the top. So the coffin's already in the grave. and In the ground? Yeah. Yeah. And then you see, you see like a ha- like you see what looks like the person inside move and like tap the window. But then they said that, oh, it's just uh, gas. Uh, no, it's just uh, yeah, involuntary movement. Because don't they take all the in, in, inside stuff out yeah. before they yeah. put them in the coffin? Yeah. Yeah. Because if they break wind inside of a coffin, they'll basically. What? Yeah. It's meant to be a really foul smell. Yeah. It would empty, empty a church. That's why they have to um, clean out their insides. Is this real? I yeah. saw it. No, they definitely. No, no, no. I meant. I meant Emma's story. I saw it. Oh. Oh. I well, saw the video. This, it looks like that. What's, she moved. what's the ending to it? Yeah, what's it? It yeah, sounds like to. Me, it sounds her. like to me. F- just, just so I understand where. I, so you understand where I'm at. It sounds like they have this person in a coffin in the grave. They notice a person move and go, ah, whatever, and then <laughs> buried them anyway. <laughs> I think so. And I saw it, but they, I, met, I didn't they like buried it that her. Much. <laughs> huh. That's wild. I would at least check, at the very least. I know. Just, just double check. <laughs> It's your last know. chance. Oh, here you go. I'll show- <laughs> here, there's a video of it. No. Yeah, no, I, I saw wanna, the video. I don't want to watch this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't want to watch don't? this. You <laughs> don't? I do. I do. Nah. Send it to me. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't want to watch this. What the hell? <laughs> well. Just, I, I don't want to see a lady in a coffin twerking. <laughs> I want to see how convincing this is and what actually happened. Yeah. Well, there you go. Anyway, Snake Guy is alive. Jimmy. Oh, uh, Jimmy. Um, and that's it. Hmm. Yeah, I, quick quick fact for you all, because I looked up that brown snake. Um, yeah, it says usually will die within half an hour and is no snake in the world is known to have killed as many people as quickly. <laughs>